Radio Newsreel program covers the role of the Indian Defence Forces in the War of 1971. action while the Indian Air Force pounded Pakistani air bases from Dhaka in the east to Karachi in the west, Pakistan's air attacks foiled by the Indian air power spilled over to indiscriminate raids on civil targets. For instance, their marauding mirages were destroyed in the sky and two star fighters were brought down crashing over Amritsar civil aerodrome. The artillery fire downing the two star fighters in the eastern sector, Pakistan engaged in a fierce assault on freedom fighters in Bangladesh had in fact carried the attack on Indian territory much earlier. Pakistani Air Force raided Indian territory using powerful rockets and heavy bombs. We have the voice of the leader of the Indian Air Force formation which engaged Pakistani sabers when they intruded into Indian airspace. The formation leader on the day and when we got to order to scramble the four of us got airborne and we went towards uh, this area where we were expecting the threat. I saw these uh, aircraft inside our territory, so I engaged them in combat with my formation. And during the combat, I managed to get behind and shoot down the leader. He didn't seem to have much of a chance against the Nat. My number three and number four also shot down one each, which brings us a 100% kill. My number three flight club, Ganapati, will tell you what he did. Commander's aircraft, and I'm confident that in that aircraft, I can take on any aircraft in the world in close combat. Then, within a day of Pakistan's all-out attacks on India on all fronts, and the counter-offensive by India, the Pakistani air squadron in the east was completely decimated. The Indian Air Force began to rule the sky over Bangladesh. It was a coordinated, brilliantly planned and neatly executed action by our armed forces. Aircraft carrier Vikrant held sway in the Bay of Bengal. American-built Pakistani submarine Ghazi went to the bottom of the sea. Another submarine liquidated. Destroyers Khyber and Shah Jahan destroyed through daring naval operations. On the west, enemy ports pounded from Gaddaad to Karachi. The role of the Navy as the operations were continuing Naval Chief, Admiral Nanda. I'm more than satisfied. They have been doing a fine job of work at sea, and they have achieved a lot. They have fulfilled all the tasks that were assigned to them during the first phase of their operations at sea. Everybody knows that um, the Navy was able to pierce the heart of the Pakistan Navy and got into Karachi where they were able to engage the Pakistan Navy in a battle in which we sank two of their destroyers and a minesweeper. And we probably damaged another minesweeper without getting any of our ships hurt at all. They also carried out a second raid on Karachi in which they uh, attacked three of their ships and also set the oil installations at Karachi ablaze. I should also say that our eastern fleet has also been doing a very good job of work. They have managed to sink the Pakistan submarine Ghazi, which was the pride of the Pakistan Navy. They've also been keeping up tremendous pressure on the, all these Pakistani ports. 